guys, it's Huff. I am back again and this is a tag video. I was tagged absolutely months ago by Stacey from Polished Ways to do um, Confessions of a Nail Polish Addict. Um, and I saw um, Jay Wackers do it the other day and it kind of like reminded me that I was supposed to have done it. <laughs> so I'm finally getting around to it. So there are 12 questions designed specifically for now Polish addicts. So let, is, let us get into it. Uh, first question, um, I have them written down. I'll just move them so I don't keep turning my head all the way over there. Uh, first one is what colour are you wearing right now? Right now I am wearing L'Oreal's Owl's Night, um, which is kind of like a brownie polish with a gold shimmer with some gold um, nail art swirly waterless marbling type stuff on it. So that is what I'm wearing. Uh, what nail product can't you live without? That would probably be cuticle oil. Um, this is the one I'm currently using. I have multiples of them around the place. Um, probably twice a day I put on um, cuticle oil. Usually when I'm watching like a nail polish video somebody will say something and I'll be like oh yeah I need to remember to put that on. So that's that. Number three. What is your favourite nail polish brand? Um, it's probably a really really hard question to answer. Um, especially as I don't have um, I mean I have a massive collection but I don't have lots of different brands. Probably Revlon would be one of my favourites. They're fairly consistent with their quality, though some of the colours leave something to be desired. Um, Sally Hansen I have quite a lot of as well, and um, BYS is the brand that I have the most of by a long stretch. So, you know, sort of those three, but I really don't have a favourite brand. I tend to more go for a particular colour or style, um, than anything else. Number four, what nail shape do you wear? I actually tend to go for basically um, what my natural nail shape is. I don't really file too much, um, which is basically almost oval, kind of a squoval type of shape. That is, squoval would be my preferred shape. I don't like the really sharp edges on a really square nail. I prefer it to be slightly rounded but I don't want it really, really rounded, like I don't like the almond nail particularly. So, um, I haven't tried a coffin nail, but when I start my acrylics course, I may well try that one. Okay, what is your go-to red, pink and neutral polishes? Well, this is really hard when you have a collection as large as mine, so what I did is I looked at probably the three that are my favourites currently. So, my current favourite red, is this one from Sally Hansen. Um, it's called R Racy Rouge. Um, this has got an absolutely fabulous former. It's also from the Insta Dry range, so it dries really, really quickly. And it is just a really average, middle of the road red. Um, slightly, um, it's a blue toned red, so it's slightly pink leaning, but it is probably my favourite of my reds. I actually don't own a lot of red polishes, surprisingly enough. I'm not really sure why that is, um, but it's not a nail polish that I gravitate towards. Um, pink polish, again, would probably be my favourite, current favourite pink polish, which is Tulip by Revlon. Again, this is an absolutely fabulous formula, and it's just a really nice, slightly dark, bright pink. Um, and it is one of my favourite pink polishes. And the neutral one is always a little bit of a surprise. I generally do not like neutral polishes that much. But if you um, watched my 2014 favourites, um, which was ages ago, so you might not have seen it, um, I actually had a nail polish in there, which was a massive surprise because purple is my favourite colour. And the my favourite polish for the year is actually neutral, which some people might not consider it a neutral. This is Polished London's Just Dusk, and it is a kind of a rosy brown, pink, neutral kind of colour. 
to me, this is a neutral nail polish. I know some people will say that's a pink nail polish, but to me, that is a neutral nail polish. And it actually really complements my um, skin tone. It works really nicely with my skin tone and is actually now one of my favourite nail polishes. Um, and it's got a really nice formula as well. So that is Polish London's Just Dusk. Next question, short or long nails? I prefer medium length nails. Um, at the moment, mine don't seem to grow much past this kind of length. I would like them to be all more sort of that length so they clear the end of my finger. Um, I'm Basically, I just do too much with my hands for them to be too long. They just don't last. Um, but I would like them to be longer. Um, probably when I start doing acrylics, I'll probably end up wearing a longer nail. Uh, number seven, what nail polishes are on your wish list? Um, there are no specific nail polishes on my wish list. Not ones that I can easily get anyway. There are a couple of sinful colours that I want. I know, strange brand to want. Um, but they're not available in Australia, those particular colours. The, the colours that you get in Australia and the colours that you get in America are not necessarily the same colours. Um, which is annoying. Um, I also would really, really like a whole bunch of the different indie type brands like KB Shimmer and um, oh, there are just so many of them and I can't think of them off the top of my head. I was just looking at a whole bunch of them last night. Um, I was on Live Love Polish and like all the really cool indie brands that are on there. Um, there's Picture Polish, which is actually an Australian brand, which I would really love to have some of their nail polishes because they have some awesome colours. Um, Holographics and Duo Cremes are my favourite polishes, really. So, any brands that do those. Um, yeah. <laughs> uh, number eight, when do you paint your nails? Uh, it depends. Quite often I paint them in the evening while I'm like when I know I don't have too much else to do. If I know I've got other stuff to do, I'm not going to paint my nails because I know I'm just going to ruin my nail polish. Sometimes, though, of course, I paint my nail polish and then I go to something anyway and ruin my nail polish and then take it all off and then redo it. So I have been known to paint my nails like twice in one day. Uh, what is your top nail tip that you swear by? Well, I actually have two. Number one is moisturize because that's how you get nice, strong, healthy nails. And number two is don't flood your cuticles. I know some people don't like seeing the little line where the cuticle is. I had this whole conversation with someone once. But it just looks neater. And the thing with flooding your cuticles is that when the nail polish touches the skin of the cuticles, apart from looking messy and being pain to clean up, it can actually stain the skin of your cuticles. So even when you do clean up, there's still like the stain there and it looks bad. Um, and it doesn't necessarily come off easily. And it just looks kind of grubby. So those are my top tips. Number 10. What nail polish do you regret buying? Um, I don't actually have them anymore. I did a video with them in. They are the nail polishes from Kmart's, I think they refer to it as the eyes, lips, face and nails. Um, they come in quite plain white packaging. Um, and they have some nail polishes that look really nice colours um, and some textured nail polishes but those things smell really 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 bad and the other one is Colour by TBN they are frankly the most disgusting nail polishes I've ever used I'm sorry if anybody actually likes that brand um, we got one in um, one of my sample boxes and I opened the lid just to check and it's like yep that is there's a smell and then there's like death in a bottle and that's what Colour by TBN smells like to me. So we went straight in the bin. <laughs> so those would be the polishes that I regret buying. Number 11 is neon or pastel. Um, I'm not really either a neon or a pastel. I prefer bright colours, let's be honest. I do like neons but they're not my favourite nail polishes. I prefer a, um, a dark nail polish or a bright non-neon nail polish over a neon polish. Number 12, 
polish. I used to really love neon polishes back in the day. I can remember having some neon green nail polish a long, long time ago. Number 12. What is your favourite nail polish colour right now? Well, my favourite colour is purple. So, generally speaking, when I'm looking at a new brand, I will buy purple because... I buy it for the colour. Um, my fav current favourite purple is actually this one. This is actually Wonder Violet from Maybelline Colorama. And it is freaking gorgeous. It is literally my favourite purple nail polish at the moment. Which, you know, for a nail polish addict, that's not really saying much. Ask me in 12 months what my favourite polish is. Probably a completely different response. So that is the Confessions of a Nail Polish Addict tag. Um, I'm not going to tag anybody, but if you haven't done this and you want to do this, then go ahead and do it. I will leave the questions down below. Um, I'm also going to link Jay Wackers and Stacey, because if you don't know either of those, then you know, you're know you missing out. <laughs> so um, if you want to subscribe, click down below, leave me a thumbs up if you like tag videos, and leave me a comment down below. I try to respond to all comments, and I will see you in my next video. See ya.